guys, I've decided to, with all the problems I've been having with this bike, I've decided to start a vlog. Um, this way I don't have to go part one, two, and three, and four, and whatever. I can just go vlog, vlog, and then what I'm working on. Today, um, my throttle died after I had upgraded the controller to a 800 watt uh, 80 volt controller that I've uh, over -volted. You can see the wire coming up there. I put an extra 20 or 10 or 18 volts in the uh, pack there. Um, I got it running so the rest of the bike only sees the original voltage. The only the only thing it sees the extra voltage is the controller. Um, I picked these up off of Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description where you can pick them up. It's nice and smooth. Good deal on those. But the other one, I'm not too sure what happened. After I had replaced the controller, I went to test this one, and um, it wouldn't work. So then I tested the throttle, and it was totally shorted. So uh, I'm thinking the worst. I'm thinking maybe since the 5 volt on the uh, throttle is the same as the um, the motor, I'm thinking that the, the motor was also damaged. I tested the hulls in the motor, and it's good. So it must have been just it's time to die. Uh, one thing I did find with the old throttle, the old Tsunami throttle, is when they take the plate off here, there was no potting for the hull whatsoever, so water could easily get in it. Uh, this one I'm not too sure. I'm not going to take it apart. But uh, one thing I am going to do is I'm going to carry these throttles for anybody in the Hamilton area because um, the stores are asking way too much for them. I'll, um, ask a lot less of what they're asking and uh, but you can only buy it locally I'm not going to ship it but I got those coming in anyway so yeah we're going to wire this up and see if it actually works so you can see this is probably the next thing I probably would end up uh, upgrading on this is uh, replacing the handlebars with something a little higher end and getting rid of all this plastic junk one of the problems I do have is some of the buttons don't work. Like this horn button over here doesn't work. This one is intermittent, but it does work. Um, this button here wasn't originally here. This was on the throttle. I just cut it open and uh, glued it in there. That's for the three-speed switch. Uh, that way I didn't have to go shopping for it. I just wired it in directly. Uh, as you can see, it does have front hydraulic. No rear. So I was thinking maybe I would just get the sportier handlebars and a little speedometer and then I would upgrade the um, hydraulic uh, master cylinder there. But anyway, that's a, for a winter time project. Right now we have to figure out how to get this onto this. So we're going to have to either cut this and put an adapter on it and give it a test. Well, I did test it. It's working pretty good. Let's see, I got a semi permanent uh, connector there. I'm going to leave the wire along and just tuck it in there, tie it up. One thing I did notice with this throttle, they're on um, different types on the market. Some will actually, when you put them on, will actually slow the bike down, or others will speed it up. Um, I'll definitely leave a link in the description for this brand because this actually speeds the bike up, which I'll show you when I uh, fire it up. Got a few more RPMs out of it. It's very smooth. That 65 is not bad. I was only getting 50, 55 before, so so that's doubled my speed quite a bit. So I'm impressed by that. Plus, I got the e-brake. Oops, wrong one. Yeah, pretty good. So I'm probably going to end up going with this one for sure. So what I'm going to do is I'll just uh, plug in the soldering iron and we'll uh, solder and heat shrink those.
Well, that's about it for this one. Everything's put back together and ready to go. These are actually a really nice uh, pair of grips compared to the old ones that I had. So, uh, there's the booster pack that I'm experimenting with now. Not much to look at. Got the little wire running through here down into the controller. So the whole bike sees 89 volts. Um, the not even the this still works throughout the whole bike including the booster pack but this will not trip because this only sees 80 volts as well as the regulator and pretty much everything else uh, the only thing that sees the extra pack voltage or the booster pack is the high side of the controller that would be the really thick red wire with even the thin wire that uh, goes to the controller the red wire only sees the 80 so that keeps you from blowing up your regulator and everything else. But, uh, she goes like a cut cat. So that's about it. Um, until the next thing breaks. Uh, this is the other thing I was looking at. I got about a $1,200 worth of lithium there. I was thinking of putting it in here. But then I had to split it in half and have two BMSs because this is a two pack. And I want to sell this come spring. So I don't want to add that to it. So I'm going to stick with the lead acid in the booster pack for now. But uh, I'm sure I'll find more things to work on. Later, guys.